SOAP. SOAP is a simple based protocol and it exchanges data between two websites. So, and to develop web uh, application using SOAP, you have to register on UDDI and that data transmission goes to the WSDL format. So it's a bit complicated and it widely used in enterprise application or the system, what is the legacy system. Say, uh, in case of PayPal, we should use SOAP because we are using, we are hitting the services again and again. Like if uh, payment in between, we can say, hey, retry it so that it's not uh, fail, um, chances of failure. They are trying two or times, three times, okay. If it's still some problem, then uh, they can say fail, but they are trying two, three times. So this is the architecture of SOAP. So you can see it here. I have a site. I will do a service request from here. It will go to web services, SOAP method, and then this is service provider, server provider, you can say, and if success or failure, I can get it from this way. And this is the service broker where then where you have to register your service. So that's called UDDI. Now, next is, detail. I will go a little bit detail about SOAP building block. And uh, we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about uh, soap building block and uh, how it work and uh, what are the key element of this block. Okay, so you can see on top of this, this is a soap envelope. Then. Below that we have SOAP header block and uh, there are a lot of header blocks and then SOAP body and within this we can have fault messages. So we'll talk about detail how it's, how is it. I have taken one scenario where uh, this is a SOAP request envelope first stop and uh, below that we have header body. So in header I have taken one scenario where we send, we communicate with PayPal. So I used to give username, password, signature, and subject. Below that, there is a other uh, data element that I put on body. So that's a real example how uh, SOAP elements data is there. So this is the first, you can see SOAP element envelope. And uh, this, so these, uh, can I move? Yeah, so, sorry. Okay, so there are few uh, parameters we must have to be aware what should use, what should not use. So like in case of, in case of uh, SOAP parameters, this is SOAP enveloped. We have to have this parameter. And SOAP encoding, we have to have this parameter in your SOAP envelope. And then this is encoding style. It gives you that uh, what will be the con uh, type of the uh, document type. So I have taken same scenarios like uh, SOAP header element of uh, eBay or um, uh, PayPal.com. You can see here I have username, password, signature in header. So as you seen first, I have first envelope here, then next I have within envelope I have header and within that I have body. So including all three it becomes final. This is the format, actual format of the SOAP block. So in this way we can build data and we can build request. So this is a comp this is a request. So I requested, I make a request to get laptop price from eBay.com. 
for that i must my site must have authentication of username password that should go in header next so if i requested price of laptop paypal will give me response in this way so you can see price so this is the 900 dollar of the price of the laptop so this is the complete cycle of how soap data goes and how it request and response works so this is this i have taken as a php code server uh, how code we can write in php and uh, this is a response like client side this one is for soap server side and this is for client so before moving 